if you are in year 11 or year 13 at the moment or any other years you are probably in the middle of a lot of assessments not exams because they'll be cancelled but you're probably doing a lot of assessments and in fact you're probably doing a lot more assessments than normal so this video i'm going to talk about you can talk about whether exams should have been cancelled or not so drop a comment down below and let me know what you think should they have been cancelled or what is what going on at the moment actually worse than exams So when they cancelled exams, it was because of the unfairness and the disparity across the country, across schools, about which students had studied, which bits, how much time students had been in school, and what would they actually put on the exams. And we went back to centre assessed grades. So teachers, in collaboration with other staff in the school, determining your grades based on a range of factors. But the, the government didn't really give schools enough support to do this properly. So instead of just saying this is the evidence that we need, each school has been left to decide for itself what evidence is needed. There has been some guidance from the exam boards, but it is down to the schools. So what the government have done is taken the work that the exam boards normally do and have dumped it on the schools and asked them to do it with actually not a lot of guidance and not a lot of advice, which means you guys are now in this situation where you're probably having to do more assessments than if you'd actually sat exams because your teachers are probably going to want to have two or three different data points two or three different mocks sets of grades that they can turn around to the exam board if they get moderated or if they get called upon to say look this is why this student got this grade just having one bit of data might not be seen as enough so you're probably having to do more assessments, more exams, than if you were actually sitting the real exams. And the other thing is that these have probably been written or compiled by your teachers. There are kind of like exam paper builders where you can go on and say, I want a question on this and a question on this and a question on this. And the exam boards will kind of like have a program where they'll compile lots of different uh, past paper questions. So they're probably not being written by your teachers exactly, but probably being compiled by your teachers. Now, your teachers are brilliant, but writing exams is really, really hard. There needs to be a level of, um, you know, different types of grades, some like easy questions, some medium questions, some hard questions. Exam papers are ramped so that they get harder in a very specific type of way. And then there are different sections that go into an exam paper. So kind of like essay writing or long answer questions or math skills or this type of skills. And getting the balance of those exactly right is very, very hard. It takes an exam board about 18 months to write an exam paper. And your teachers have been asked to do this with no training in the space of a couple of weeks. And it's not the fault of your teachers if they don't get it perfectly right, but they are unlikely to be able to produce something as good as an exam, as fair as an exam. And with every single school producing their own sets of assessment papers based on topics that they've taught you, some schools might just have loads of really easy questions in there. Some schools might inadvertently put a really, really hard question in there that lots of students struggle with. So if somebody gets 90% on a test in one school, that's not going to be the same as 90% in a test in another school. And I'm not saying the teachers have deliberately made things hard, deliberately made things easy, but they just don't have the years of training and moderating and checking that assessments, uh, exam papers go through before they are given to you. There is a lot of thought and effort put into these and the government has asked teachers to do this in the space of weeks with no training. Now, the exam boards are still charging for your grades so they will do a little bit of moderation they will ask for evidence from schools to look at a certain number of students to see how they've awarded the grades so they are doing some work and then they still have to give you the the grades and certificates but they are not 
producing the exam papers. They don't have to, to print them. They don't have to send them out. They don't have to receive them. They don't have to scan them in. They don't have to mark them or moderate them. A large, large chunk of work that the exam boards normally do, they're not doing anymore. I'm sure they're very busy doing lots of other valuable stuff, but they're still charging schools for this. They're still charging schools for giving you exams when they're not giving you exams. Now, at a time when schools are really, really pushed for money, maybe they didn't have to do that. But the people they normally pay to mark exams normally rely on this money for holidays or mortgage payments or pension payments or something. And they're not being paid that. Now, these people are normally teachers. Um, but what they're having to do as part of their day-to-day -day work is set and mark your assessments, your exam papers, something that they have paid the exam boards to do and the exam boards normally pay someone else to do, your teachers are now being asked to do this for free with no training and no extra time and no like time in lieu or whatever. Um, the amount of work your teachers are having to do at the moment is insane and it's not even and it's not fair and I think the feeling at the moment is it would have been a lot easier and it would have been a lot fairer if exams had just gone ahead. Now I'm not saying that exams should have gone ahead in exactly the same format as they have done in previous years. The plan was to tell you which topics were going to be on the exam. So for say a five paper topic you would know the, the five question topic, you would know what the five questions are about. And then they could have changed it even further to say we're just going to take the grades from the three best questions in there and that way even if you had covered all the curriculum just the three best questions or the six best questions on a ten question topic would have been taken into account so that the the unevenness across the country across different schools would have been evened out if you said this is what's going to be on the exam but we're not going to take into account every single question so you can answer four out of the six questions or something like that. These are the exam papers, don't answer all the questions, it's okay. I think there were lots of things that the government could have done a lot better to make things a lot fairer than they actually are at the moment. I don't think the current situation is fair. I don't think it's fair to the teachers who have got a massive increase in workload and I don't think it's fair to the students um, who are being assessed in such completely wildly different ways from school to school. Um, I don't think it's going to produce a fair set of um, grades. Some people are going to be massively over, some people are going to be massively under and I don't think it's going to be fair to the schools that are doing everything properly if the school down the road decides to give everyone really really easy questions in a paper massively inflate everyone's grades. Um, so those are just my thoughts. So guys what do you think? Do you think exams should have been cancelled or do you think they should have gone ahead in a modified format? Because by the time the exams were due to start we're going to be allowed to go to theatres again and we're going to be allowed to sit inside and um, drink and eat with our friends again and you've been in school with these people for weeks and months now so yeah let me know in the comments guys what you think ouch this is why in some videos i have unexplained scratches